Back in the garage, as you notice, I sold my Venture 17, Old Bell, my little trailer sailor. If you remember my earlier videos, I lowered the mast and raised the mast myself with basic uh, little winch right onto the uh, pulpit. Got a video earlier that I learned from one of the YouTubers by the name of Steve Hawk. So anyway, I loved his very simplicity idea of lowering and raising a mast because I don't have any knowledge about a gin pin or anything like that. And a lot of the videos I've seen, they just, they, they didn't really show the details how to do it. It was always from a distance. So anyway, this is an idea that I came up with for any sailboat that's around, I'd say under 30 feet, you know, both masts are 25 feet long. So the Venture 17 had a 25 foot mast and the Columbia 22 also has a 25 foot mast. So something that size isn't really too intimidating. So anyway, I'll show you what I did. So basically this is gonna be lowering a sailboat mast without a hinge pin or a mast hinge pin. On the Columbia 22, there's no mast hinge pin. It's basically just uh, propped right on in there holding itself just with the rigging tension. And uh, I've never lowered one before, so I didn't know what to experience, and it was really hard to dig up and find videos from it. So uh, basically I had to get some trial and error and thought I'd show you what I did and got the mast safely down without it going into the water. So anyway, I'll give you a quick demonstration of what I did. As you see, all I'd used was a two by four and a winch. And this is a winch that can uh, ratchet forward and reverse. And you wanna make sure it ratchets both directions. Now that's really hard to find. And surprisingly out in my area in Idaho, only Walmart I can find this. Not even the big tool shops. Can't find it in any tool shop. I don't even think you can find it online. It's hard to find. So make sure you get one that ratchets forward and backwards. And I think Walmart has it for around $37 or something like that, I can remember. And uh, some giant U-clamps that'll fit on here, like buy the biggest ones they have. And uh, whatever boat you have, just take the measurements and go buy that. So basically just use something like this for your mast. And you want something to be able to hook onto that that's going to be solid to handle the weight of that mast as you're dropping it down. And that's where I came up with this idea, making this pulpit, this pulpit to uh, hook on to the mass for a nice, stable, safe lowering setup. And unlike my first video on the Venture 17, I had it hooked onto the trailer. So on this boat, I basically just took some measurements and you'll see on some of my pictures how I came up with that and how I did it. Took a giant piece of cardboard and just traced along the pulpit railing. And then I made a clamp style here to clamp it on there tight so it's not going anywhere. And basically reinforced it with good quality wood with some brackets and a backboard here. That's not going anywhere. It was very strong and you'll see it as I lower it on the video. So basically, this is gonna be a sailboat that you can lower without a mast hinge pin because some of these boats don't have ha mast hinge pins. And that's basically just a straight mast without any pin going through it, that bolt that you can loosen and just, you know, like on, if you're familiar with the Catalinas, you know, the Catalina sailboats were easy to uh, lower the mast. But this boat kind of has a family sentimental the Columbia 22 was a sailboat that my grandfather had. He had it, bought it in the early, or I should say the late 60s, and basically had it up until the early 80s. I think I was like a little three, four-year-old on that boat. And uh, it's just good to bring those memories back. And it's a bigger boat, and I love camping while I sail. This boat has a little more room, and uh, it's a bit of a project. And I will just get started and uh, give you updates later on on the restoration so enjoy the videos and have a good night
gone down. <laughs> 